Hi and welcome to this video for BTEC Applied Science Level 3. So we're looking at how the impurities can affect the melting point of the organic solid, what you've made. So it's more than likely aspirin each and every time that's made within the lab. Um, your teacher may decide to do a different organic solid, but obviously you'd be made aware of that. So once you've carried out the practical, one of the merit criteria is to discuss sort of the purity of the substance that you've actually made. Now, the way that you'll typically do that is by working out a melting point of your solid and then comparing to a reference value of the pure material. So that can be looked up on the internet and obviously just reference your source where you get that from. So what we'd be looking at is aspirin is simple molecular. So you'll have been through the types of structure, ionic, uh, macromolecular, metallic, and simple molecular. So aspirin held together by all sorts of intermolecular forces. We've got a bit of hydrogen bonding, dipole, dipole, and van der Waals within there. And what happens is that with how the substance actually packs together to allow sort of all those intermolecular forces to take place, an impurity kind of disrupts the structure within there. So they don't pack together as well. And what this causes, the key word here, is a melting point depression. So that depression means not as many forces of attraction are forming. And if there's less forces of attraction, then obviously you need to put in less energy to break them down and thus melt the substance. So the nice easy way of visualizing it is this picture here. So a pure compound, the square is just representing the aspirin. Again, we've got all the intermolecular forces between those various molecules. If we've got an impurity within here, as we can see, it disrupts how well it's packed together. Whereas you've still got areas of fairly pure regions existing there. So this region will melt at a lower temperature. There's less intermolecular forces to break there. Now it's not usually visible to the eye, obviously looking at the level that this occurs on. But what you will notice is that because this area melts first, and then this area up here, or any of sort of the pure areas, melt later at a higher temperature, what you will see is that there is a range. So whereas this one might melt at a specific degree C, this one would melt over a range. So starting from lower and kind of Z being near the X more than likely for the pure region there. It depends upon how much of impurity you've got. But we see a broadening of the point at which it melts. So this is what it's looking for, for your detailed look at how the impurities are affecting the melting point. Thank you.